Okay. Let's uh, go over the LED connections on the 765 wing. And I'm just going to use this little 8 LED strip I got from Race Day Quads. And it's just a flashbang SW402 uh, programmable multicolor LED board that my intention was to put right below the uh, propeller on the Caprahenia 2 and it's going to relay information to people behind me. Um, could relay information on how many satellites are locked up. We'll, we'll see as this goes on. Sensor lost. Now this is very, very easy. <laughs> There's three connections on the five volt LEDs. The positive on the bottom with this red wire. A ground or a negative in the middle with the brown wire on this pigtail. And data in it's on the top in this case with the yellowish wire here. And I've just got those in a connector ground, power, and signal. And this goes on the board exactly like this across these three pins right here. Ground, voltage, and the LED. And the only information on this whole page about that is right here. Oops. LED, WS2812 type LEDs. So it's got a WS2812 LED signal output. That's it. So here's my ground, my voltage, my LED. Oh, shut up, radio. So if I go back, that's what I've got here. Ground, voltage, and signal. So I'm going to put this in this board. I'm going to power the board down first. I'm going to put this in the board right here in this bottom left corner. Telemetry lost. Yeah, well, that's a good signal there, radio. I did power down the RC receiver, didn't I? Oops, keep missing here. There we go. So there, if I push it down, you can see I lost my pointer. Oh well, there it is. Uh, ground is my dark wire. Voltage, red wire in the center. Signal, yellow wire on the outside, orange wire, whatever it is. I'm not sure myself. Okay. When we power up just from USB, this is another case of, come on, there we go. This is, this is another case of no power on that port. So what we're going to have to do here this will have to power it from the battery over here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the battery on. So now we do have power to that port. And you can see I have working LEDs. They're all flashing blue, but that's okay. So let's go into iNav. COM5, 115-200, connect. <clears throat> you have to come into configuration and make sure that multicolor RGB LED strip support is selected right here. If it's grayed out like this, select it, click save and reboot. That's really all there is to 
getting the LED strip to work. Now you do have to come over here in the bottom left. And my intention here wasn't to show you exactly how to make the LEDs work as much as the wiring and connection and stuff. But what you really do here is you click on this and put it in wire ordering mode, which I've already done. And you choose how you want your LEDs. And I just set it up like the eight I had. And then you just go on uh, a particular LED, like uh, this one, instead of blinking blue, I want it to blink red. And save. Let's see, now if you come out here. Well, I can tell you it is blinking a different color, but I don't think it's red. I think it's green. <laughs> Uh, but it is blinking a different color. Well, yeah, I can prove that by going in here and selecting that same one and turning the blink off. Save. Uh, it's still blinking. Click save again. There we go. Always make sure you get an EEPROM saved up here in this corner. There you go. And yes, that doesn't look red to me. That looks green to me. But now we have a steady green here and the other seven are flashing. Now because that's set up, I'll go ahead and turn those back off on the switch. Because that setup is so complex, because you can get in here, you can choose uh, one of the LEDs, and you can choose multiple ones by holding down the control key, and you can come in here and say you want that to be based on throttle, you want that to be based on warnings from the flight controller, indicators from the flight controller, uh, to talk about setting this up would really really take a long time as far as the usage but that's basically what i was out to show you and the last part is of course from the uh pin out again uh where is that detailed? There is a switch. I'm looking on this sheet. I do not see it. But technically there is. Wow. If I find it, I'll do another video. But I'll tell you right now, right off. I do not see it because technically there is in the modes in iNav. There is a LED low perimeter. Lost. And that LED low perimeter, when it's active like it is right now, is how you turn off the LEDs or turn on the LEDs as the case may be. I move this to here and say then that changes the position of the three position switch I'm using uh, when LED low is active the LEDs are turned off so if we look out here at my radio I've got it on this switch right here on the radio so right now it's in the center position I came in here well this is how you do it just as if it didn't exist I came in here found LED low said add range wanted it to be channel 11 <laughs> that's all there is to setting these things up completely from scratch 
and right now you can see how with the switch in the center if I go high then the LEDs do come back on and again in the center they're off go low they're all back on I'm going to put this back to the center if I slide this to here you guys know how all this works as far as setting up channels and click save notice the LEDs came right back on but now if I go back to my low position on the switch LED low is now active again and LEDs are off uh, that's all there is to LEDs there are some other good tutorials out there that can show you how this works and you can have a string of a uh, couple of hundred of LEDs I would suppose I'm not sure how many you can have but that's uh, the 765 wing and LEDs thank you